Hi Taurus, this week we've got our new moon. It is in the sign of Scorpio, your opposite sign, and it really is the darkest week of the year. So we are just off the back of Halloween. We are uh, in between this kind of week of um, where the veil between the living and the dead are meant to be very thin. You know, in uh, Mexico we have Dia de los Muertos, in England we have Bonfire Night. These are festivals that are all about darkness, they're all about finding a light in that darkness. So for you this might be about really considering how you show up with other people. There might be some kind of like shadow things at play here where you're looking at, you know, the places where you hide yourself, how you are maybe wanting to be little bit more confident how you want to speak up how you want to maybe um, receive more as well it might be that you have been really on the go this year trying to push trying to be strong trying to support other people perhaps or trying to kind of get along with other people and now you're starting to really find your true power trying to find you know what it is that you actually need what you want to receive and um, so this can be a very empowering time for you and um, if you actually spend a little bit of time just kind of trying to like find these things out you know journaling meditating whatever it is that just helps you to acknowledge what's going on so your cards for this new moon are Queen of Wands and the Eight of Swords. So moving forwards, you are going to have to have a lot of confidence because it might be that you don't really know what is ahead of you, you don't know the path ahead. Um, as we say, it's like dark at the dark time of the year. Um, so typically we're kind of in the dark about things, about what we should be doing, about where we should be going, about how we can utilise what we've got in front of us, how we can take the path that leads to what we want in life. Um, so this can be a little bit confusing, but this is basically saying to you that if you are confident, then you can't really go wrong at the moment. When the Queen of Wands comes up, it's kind of like saying to you, like, just follow your joy, just kind of shine your light, just be confident and take a step forward. You don't have to know everything, you don't have to be like completely clued up, you don't have to have a plan, you just have to keep moving and have that confidence in yourself that you can deal with everything. So, let me know if that resonated for you this week, otherwise you can book a full reading from the links below. Subscribe and I'll see you next week. Happy, happy new moon.